Coming up on Recreation Nation, I go down to Naples, Florida for some swamp buggy racing. You get out there one time, you get a little mud in your blood, <laughs> you come back. Then I go to Firefest, a homegrown fireworks convention where anything can happen. That thing is going in absolutely, I don't know what direction, we have got to get out of here. Get out of the way! And later, we meet an immigrant whose American juice size guru turns old dream is to change the world of fitness. I realized America is a land of opportunities, but also America is full of fatties. I'm Dave Mordo. I travel the country to see the ingenious, dangerous, and dubious ways Americans find to kill time. From adventurers, to fanatics, to guys who just like to fall on their heads. This is Recreation Nation. Okay. And later, exercise is taken to a whole new level. Some people think they're the most stupid idea in the world. Well, you know, there's a lot of stupid ideas that really do well. Coming up, an inventor and exercise guru turns old-fashioned workout routines on their heads. It's like a bike, but he's not going to molest your uh, prostate. Americans seem to be on a perpetual quest to find a quicker, easier workout. Well, we've met a man who has dedicated his life to perfecting a very complex way to simplify exercise. Meet Alex Astillian, a Romanian immigrant who came to America in search of a better life. It was always my dream to be an American. But as it turned out, the land of plenty was a little too plentiful. I realized America is a land of opportunities, but also America is full of fatties. And I'd like to change that. In one generation, I think I can change this country. So in his free time, Alex applied his good old-fashioned Romanian ingenuity to creating cut also really like the Gauntry, cutting-edge exercise machines. His first idea was to simplify a piece of exercise equipment that many people find too complicated, the jump rope. Introducing the turbo jump. This is basically your like a jump rope, but you don't have to hold it in your hands. You Want to go faster? You can go faster. Turbo jump is made up of pool noodles attached to a ceiling fan, which, at least for now, is powered by another fan. You can adjust the speed by just change the angle of the fan. It goes faster or slower. A top athlete can do it, or your grandmother. Your grandmother might also really like the gauntry. This for people, they not be able to sustain their own weight in order to do the exercise. The gauntry apparatus combines suspension gear with a souped-up treadmill that allows the elderly to walk or even run with simplicity and ease. Lucy, we're going to get on the gauntry. It's okay. Just leave it. Uh, uh, this one. This one. No, no, just leave the hand. Yes, exactly. Alex plans to one day replace this elaborate harness with a pair of one-size-fits-all bungee pants. You step up. It's a very safe, so he can, she can go nowhere. No way you can get off of this. Once it becomes clear to Grandma that she's trapped, she might be pleased to find out that her body weight has been greatly reduced with the help of the suspension harness. So before get on this country, she barely could walk. So let's see if we can get you to run, Lucy, today, okay? Well, let's go, just walk towards me. That's it. What else you need? Good, the hands a little bit lower. Hands a little bit lower. The hands lower, very good. Grab my hand, come on, come on and grab it. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. That's very good, very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. It's enough. Let me take her pulse. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Even if you could get Grandma to give up bridge for the gauntry, there's still one unexpected drawback. What's a downside about this, as soon as you take those off, you come back to reality your own weight, which is terrible. She's going back to 216 in a second, and it's very, very, very depressing. But rest assured, Alex's innovative streak doesn't end here. His greatest invention is designed for people who love jogging but hate the ground. This is the first uh, treadmill on wheels. It calls the treadmobile. I came up with an idea of putting the wheels on the treadmill and move it outside from the gym. Not stick your eyes to your wall or to a TV. 
Sure, jogging outside would solve that problem, too. But the logical conclusion for Alex was to take the gym with him. It's very good you change the scenery in your mind. You never look at the wall when you're running on the treadmill. Alex ran his idea by David Wisner and Steve Obradis from a local auto shop, who at first were a little skeptical. I mean, of course, when you, you start trying to put a treadmill you know, with wheels, you know, of course, the idea is a little, a little, you know, a little crazy. But as we, as we started developing and working through it, it started to make a lot more sense. This could actually be a viable option for losing weight. Go. Before they knew it, the men teamed up to build the prototype for the first ever speed fit treadmobile using parts from a lawnmower. It works, works on the grass too. <laughs> works. So we came up with a lot of ideas how to do the steerings, how to do the brakes, how to basically put a gearbox on it to multiply your speed. Despite Alex's claims that the treadmobile can reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, this invention has had some trouble catching on. But some people think they're the most stupid idea in the world. Well, you know, there's a lot of stupid ideas that really do well. I don't know, no gas. No more gas. Uh, some people ask me a question, why you need this to run on the sea when you just can walk by yourself and run by yourself without using this monstrosity? But what I say is, it's like a bike, but you don't have to keep your balance on this. All people, they can use it. And also, it's not going to molest your uh, prostate. Not only does the treadmobile keep your prostate safe, but you'll get an extra workout lugging it uphill. And that would be the ultimate workout. Stop turning the wheel so hard. No, I was trying to see if we can get it up the hill. Alex's creations go beyond exercise equipment. He's now working on his biggest invention ever. One that will not only improve fitness, but will revolutionize public transportation. My ultimate goal is to create a treadmobile, which is going to be a bus. And it's going to be a giant treadmill with a gearbox, brakes, lights, maybe windshield. And we'll be running on it like 10, 12, maybe 15 people on it. In fact, I want to create two more treadmobile buses and have a race between uh, New York and the Hamptons. And that would be the ultimate workout, considering it's over 100 miles from Manhattan to the Hamptons. Alex believes the idea is not as stupid as some may think. The treadmobile provides a low-impact workout by allowing you to run on the balls of your feet. When you push forward, always the heels that are in the air, always. I'll race you. Race me? Yeah. 100 bucks, I'll be before you there. No. I think this guy is afraid of the harsh penalties of drag racing in East Hampton. For that treadmill with wheels, I've never seen anything like that. It, a, uh, it looks like it's pretty cool. It looks like you'd probably get a really good exercise out of it. But I don't think I could do it. I'd, I'd be out of oxygen if I had a treadmill in that thing. <laughs> Another piece of Alex's speed fit empire is the speed board. It's a non-motorized treadmill that, thanks to its concave design, can instantly adjust to any body weight. I'm running. It just stops. I don't have to do anything. I step down. Another person jumps in and he starts running. Look here how it's very light. It's the difference between us is about 120 pounds and we're both using the same machine at the same time. And I think this is the future in treadmills. This one is just made as a prototype and it will go in production. It will be future in um, 2009, Ursha Show in San Francisco. And it's a Premier in the world, a concave shape treadmill. Was never done before, but the problem is was never done before because they didn't know the need for it. But now we find a way to need it, a concave shape, in order to adjust for everybody the speed of the people they run or they walk. So this basically is the future in treadmills. So as soon as this is gonna get on the market, the elliptical is gone because basically you moving the you movement is of elliptical movement but it's all natural you don't have to be stuck with your feet in elliptical and be in the same place you are doing the same movement low impact but on the speedboard you freely you can move up and down you can speed up and of course you will come with angels everything what you do now you try to save the energy why not save the energy and lose weight in the same time? That's really my goal. 
So Alex continues his one-man fitness revolution as he attempts to bring SpeedFit to the world. I think it's a great system. It will really change this country. It will really change people's mentality about how you should exercise. That's it for Recreation Nation. If you want to learn more about anything you've seen here or you have your own show ideas, visit us at discovery.com. Thanks for watching.